A man says women say one thing but mean another. Another man teaches other men how to get women into bed. And finally, one man says men need to learn to listen to what women want, what men really think of women today. Hello, everyone. I don't know if you noticed by the shots that we're taking, but this is an audience of all women today. We have invited them here for a reason because we have three men with different points of view. These three men think they know what women think. And today, we will find out. Meet Ross Jeffries. He says he got tired of being Mr. Nice Guy and being dumped by women. So he changed his ways, and he wrote a book for other men who feel the same way. It is called, How to Get the Women You Desire into Bed. This is Mel Fight. Mel says women say they want a sensitive guy, but the minute men get sensitive, women run the other way. And finally, Bruce Weinstein. Bruce says he is pro-feminist and pro-woman. He thinks men would be a lot better off if they only learned to listen to what women have to say. <laughs> I guess you already realize that uh, your positions are in the minority here. What uh, a surprise. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to stay out of this for a minute or two, and I want everybody... I'm just going to fire off some questions, okay? Just so we get some answers, all right? And, I, and I, may, uh, I may leave some of those balls hanging up there for you ladies to slam dunk later on, but that's your prerogative, all right? It's... Ross, what do women really want? I don't care what they want. I only care what they respond to. See... My focus is a little bit different from your other guests. There's what women say they want, there's what women think they want, and then there's what they actually respond to. I'm not an academic, I'm not a theoretician. I'm interested in what works on the street when it's time to date and mate. And what women actually respond to is not what they say they want. So what do they respond to? They really respond to a guy who's a challenge, a guy who's a question mark, a guy who keeps them guessing. You see, in the beginning, the less attractive you are physically, the more you have to rely on your attitude. And that's what I wrote my book for. I wrote my book for the average looking, even ugly guy who goes out there in the real world and tries to be a nice guy, gets his head kicked in. So no more Mr. Nice Guy. You can be pleasant. You see, we've we got to define our terms. By nice, I mean accommodating. When you accommodate, you get what the commode gets. You get the crapola. You have to learn how to say no to a woman. Yeah. I, I, as I said, I'm going to let a lot of these things hang, and uh, you can all take them on later. But so, th so this, I guess, attitude is your word. This attitude that you now have is more appealing to women? The attitude is vastly more appealing. Basically, the attitude is, I make no excuses for what I want. And number two, I don't need you. You need me. Now, bear in mind, I don't verbalize it. Exactly. Now, you see... You see this response here, you should never verbalize the attitude. You're you show it in your behavior. You're, you're sitting here pointing your finger at him. Stand up and tell us why you're pointing at him. No, I was just saying that um, he's just got this prejudgment of what women are like. And I think what he should do is just develop his own self. And then he's going to find these relationships the sleaze better. The bag you see is the real me. I found the real me. The, I, I, think, I think you've prejudged us. I mean, the, the, the audience reaction at the top of the show showed that the women here have prejudged us. I think it's a sad comment on women that they respond to the kind of manipulative behavior that Ross is encouraging that men do. That's a sad comment on you. Well, Listen, I you, uh, you should develop yourself, you know, and that should be a, a you, right I, I, You know what I found? I found that the nice guys who, when I'm on the radio or TV, nice guys call up and go, well, it wouldn't be myself. It's the nice guy who's the phony who's not being yeah. his real self, because he's afraid he can't do anything. So you're going back to my point, all men are jerks, no, no. and some no, hide no. it. No, no, no. Isn't that, wait a minute, wait a minute, it's, but isn't that what you just said, is all no. men are sort of no. jerks, and some of them try to sugarcoat it. No, what I'm saying is, is that what you just said? No, what I'm saying is, it, what I'm saying is, I said I was going to stay out of it, and I can't. Yeah. What I'm saying is, is that there's a massive 
power imbalance in favor of women when it comes to dating and sex. And women, through their behavior, through showing men what they actually respond to, force men to act in a certain <laughs> way. Yes, That's there, a, is a power there is a power imbalance in our society, but who wields the power? It is men who wield the power, and I'm here to say, in I'm, the here, today room, to say, not I'm the here today to say that it is time for men to give up our power and authority and our privilege because we have dominated women, we have Wait. dominated other men, we have dominated the planet for too long, and it has got to stop. Yeah. What you want is you want to hear that we're jerks, you want to hear that we have all the power. You know, the, the, the most important unspoken truth about men is that we are very angry. A lot of us are very angry at women. And this is a good example. You're showing why we're angry. You're not even listening. You don't want to listen to what we have to say. Well, and I'm, I I'm afraid that they heard it. I don't, know. Know. I don't think they I heard it all. And I think, you know, the reason that men don't communicate about their anger, we, we keep it secret, is because when we try to tell you why we're angry, you respond with ridicule, with okay, disbelief, why are you angry? or your own anger. I'm not anger. I'm satisfied because I know how to manipulate women and get what I want. But let me say, his point is so preposterous. Every, get a shot of this audience. Every woman sitting here is sitting on more power than Con Edison pumps out in 10 years. You, you control the access to sex, and that is an incredible amount of power. The man yes. asks, the woman says yes He's or no. She there. has the power, and that makes, wait a second, let me make, a lot of men feel, you don't know this, but it's the truth, a lot of men feel powerless and degraded and dehumanized by the sexual system whereby the man asks, and the woman decides. We feel harassed every minute of every day of our lives, and it's about time that you understand that. When Mel, we look at wait, the, I'm sorry, one second, Bruce. Mel, stand up. <laughs> now, now, doesn't that invite harassment? No, what it invites is hypocrisy. What it invites is, you know, you're, the, the fashion rage for women this year is a man's suit and tie. When you decide to ridicule me in my skirt, you've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding, Faith. I don't like the length and I don't think it matches the sweater is my problem well, with it. <laughs> When men stand up for themselves, what do they expect from women? Ridicule. You proved it, didn't you? I you did. You I'm did guilty it. right here. I admit it. I admit it. You have a question. Yes, my question is directed to um, him. What's your name again? Ross. Ross. I think you're going to... She said that, Ross. She said it, Ross. <laughs> Ross, I think you're going to end you didn't up... say it right. Ross. Ross. <laughs> I think you're going to end up a very lonely man. Understand? He says quite the contrary. He says he has a much better dating life, romance life, sex yeah, life now. It's incomparably better. Yeah. I mean, you know, l let's look at reality. The reality is that that nice guys not only don't not only do nice guys finish last, they often don't even get into the race. And you want to talk about fashion? If a woman does like a nice guy, it's her way of making a fashion statement. It's fashionable for her to and, like. And that. Ross is absolutely right. Women have a lot of sexual power, and he has the courage to say that he's making a mistake, though. He's encouraging men to simply surrender to that power. And I think, you know, if you're a man and you follow Ross's advice, you're going to get more sex, but you're going to have less self-respect. There are, don't agree there with are that. more important things in life right. than getting white. We all disagree on that point, but let me get to the commercial break, and we'll come back and find out why in a moment. back you have something you wanted to say yeah I think that they just have had bad experiences with women so they're just somewhat poisoned against women in general true it never fails every show we do we talk about our feelings someone stands up and said you we've had bad experiences you're trying to trivialize what we're saying and I resent it it's the hostility that men and women have for each other that's poisoning our relationships we've got to be will, a, able to talk about it and listen to one another non-judgmentally I don't think I've been poisoned. I think I'm just doing what works. Faith, it's, one, it's, a, it's a matter of doing what excuse works. Excuse me. One thing the women's movement has taught me is to avoid speaking for other people. So I would, I, I would like to ask you, if you think that men need to change in some fundamental ways and do a better job at listening to you, please clap your hands. What smarmy? Wait a minute. Do we have... This guy's like he's running... 
This guy's like he's running for office yeah, here. He knows how to work the crowd, okay? And, and you Look, know the same, I'm not interested. But you know what? It's not a stretch for him interested. to get this audience to agree with his no, point. No, wait a minute, but I am not interested in what applies in the mummified halls of academia. I understand I'm not speaking as he's an a academic. PhD, I'm not which speaking for as an academic. Higher and deeper. I'm talking for the little guy out there who gets his head kicked in and always winds up being the buddy, the big brother, and here is, let's be friends. You want a friend, lady? Get a dog. Okay. And here's the thing, here's the thing you have to know about Bruce, okay? Here's the thing that's important for women, there's something important for women to know about Bruce. We just you know, met, how do you know, know about But him? he's doing something that men have done for centuries to women, and it always backfires. He's putting you up on a pedestal, uh, no, he's keeping you free no, from criticism. I respect you enough to, if I think you're full of it, I'm going to tell you, he won't. You know what men need to do? What the, the point of the women's movement is not to make everyone feminine. The point, as I understand it, is to make everyone whole. So what, what men need to do is reclaim the femininity that we've lost. I can't believe you. I'm the one who's sitting here in a skirt. You're the one who's dressed in very conservative male attire. You haven't begun to question anything about masculinity. Bro. I want to put women on a pedestal so I can look up your skirts. I mean, I don't have any problem with it. This is absolutely... Hey, Ross, let me ask. Let me just ask. What, one second. One second, please. Ross, let me... Is, is there a woman in the audience that you'd like to ask out? Pardon me? Is there a woman in the audience you'd like to ask out? I'm booked up for 1993. Oh. Sorry, ladies. You have a question? Yeah, I'd like to know when is the last time you had a real commitment with a lady? And did she respect how you treated her? I, mean, I cannot hear you. One more time. When is the last time you had a real relationship with a lady? What makes you think it's your business? Oh. See? My business? You well, you're sitting up there. You're sitting up there like right? you know everything about women. And deal with the issues. He just made a personal no, hang on a second, me, Ross. I think it is a fair question, and I will tell you why I think why it is, is a fair question. question. Because you wrote this book saying you've got the answers. You know what? At the moment, at the moment, I'm having lots of fun. I don't have a personal commitment to one person. Although I have been with someone I've loved for a long time, me. Let me ask you. <laughs> given, given that, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do you care if a woman is satisfied the one that you're with? It goes without saying she's going to be satisfied if she's with me. Now listen, let me tell you something. I'm serious about one thing. I'm being a little obnoxious to get a response, but I'm serious about one thing. Got it. I honestly believe, I honestly do believe that there's no better way a woman can win, spiritually, physically, emotionally, than being with me. I really believe that. I really, really do. answer the question. Does it matter to you if the woman is satisfied? Yes. It does matter. Because she's going to come back for more. Of course it matters. It's in my own interest to see that she's satisfied. It's chapter uh, 18 in my book. And it's pathetic. Ross's arrogant attitude works with women. I think it's pathetic. I think it's pathetic. But you, like, you're, you seem to be putting the blame on women. Well, I, you know, he's, he's been conditioned by women. This is the result. This is what you get. You get a fellow All right. like Ross. John, take a wide shot of the audience, please. Put your hands down for a second. Take a wide shot of the audience. It, does anyone here find Ross's approach to women appealing? Oh, they're going to admit it. Come on, Faith. Come on, they're not going to Number one, number one, what we have here. What? I didn't hear that. What? what? She said we don't even find Ross appealing. What we have here is a phenomenon called denial. That's what we have. I think denial. Ross is denying, I think Ross is denying something very important here. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, wait. <laughs> What are you screaming about? You just threatened me. Stand up here. <laughs> Why did you threaten me to come over here with a microphone Don't immediately? Threaten, no. Stand up. Yeah. Okay, because first of all, I find this utterly preposterous. You know, you're sitting there and you're putting us down to a certain extent. And what you fail to realize, both of you, okay, is that without your mothers, you wouldn't be here. Yeah. This, uh, hush, 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 hush. 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 About about you have your turn, you hush. About I'm not done. I am not done. You've had your say for 25 years, and I'm not going to let you shout me down. No, moving right along. Say something about fathers. Moving right along. Do you hate okay? your father? Fathers didn't have to carry you, you for nine months. That's Do you not hate the your question. Father? Moving and right say along. Say something nice about I your father. I think that you're Let's very... Let's excuse me. Oh, I must have hit a nerve. Is your you did. Too you tight? said something very anti-man. Right along, as I was saying to you, I'm right? listening to you. I think that you're a very sad individual. Let alone, you're not even getting any people. <laughs> Let's get real. About it. you, baby. 
baby sugar. I can tell that you are using the five fingers of death, okay? And you really need to get real with yourself and others. Well, thank you. May I, I I'm very sorry. I have to get May to a commercial break. I have to get to a commercial break here. I, and, I, and I gotta I have to say that I'm not sure if spelling it will qualify with the censors. I'll be interested to find out if spelling, if spelling it makes a difference with the censors. We'll be back. We are back, and uh, you had something you wanted to yes. say. I have a question for Ross. How do you define a relationship? Because spell, all it sounds like is that you define it as sex. If that's all you're looking for, get a prostitute and leave the rest of us right. alone. Let we don't want it. Hey, thank you. That's an intelligent question. Let me answer it. Here's your answer. Does it matter? Whether you're looking for one steady relationship or a lot of women, whether, whichever one you want, you still have to use the attitudes I outline in my book to get it. If you're weak, if you're a wimp, if you're too happy to be there, if you want to wash her car and be her wimp, you're not going to get a lot of women, you're not going to get one woman, you won't have a steady relationship, you won't have one night stands. It applies no matter what you're looking for. Yeah, do anybody agree with that? No. I mean, it, it, see, but the men watching this know no. I'm telling the truth. I don't care. I really don't Absolutely care what they think. The men do know. See, so you know what my truth. fear is? Is that the men watching this might believe you. Well, well they do they believe. Do, but they have fans they all over the country. Absolutely they not. For like, example, Faith, Playboy magazine bills itself as entertainment for men. But I'm here to say that a lot of men do not consider it entertaining. We don't think it's entertaining. You actually let a boycott against yes, Playboy on your campus. Yes, ma'am. When they came to shoot the, uh, what, what, College Girls the of the October East or whatever that is? The October Women of the Big East issue. And we wanted to send a message loud and clear that a lot of men don't consider this a form of entertainment and that it's important for us to set a good example for people and simply not to buy pornography why and let people deny, know that this is unacceptable Why behavior. do you want to deny male biology? This is, see, part of the intellectual bankruptcy of feminism is they want to deny the reality of male human biology. It's the male human sexuality. biology to become aroused yes. looking at beautiful want, naked want, women. That is amendment. biology. No. The fact that something is natural does not mean it is good. The Hurricane Andrew is natural, but we don't want to say no, that it's good. Male sexuality so, is good. This audience is having an orgy now. You're getting off on the man bashing. There's no hope. There's no hope. Can anybody say anything positive about men? Let's well, just one person say right, something you positive. Say, wait a minute. No, I, see, I don't think... Well, hang on one second. I don't think that these women are all bashing all men. I think that they disagree with your points of view. Don't confuse it. Let them say right. something positive about say men. Something, okay, okay satisfy them. Have them pipe down on them. Say something positive. It's not positive. They pick up their that, socks. Just say they pick up their socks. What? Pick up your socks, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, the one in the middle who's in a dress. If you have such an attitude toward women and you feel how women are, why do you want so much to look like one? Oh. Oh. Um, wait a second, Faith. Hold it. No, no, no. I was attacked. No, I want this woman to stand up. I want people to see what she's wearing. Sport coat, sport coat, and an oversized sport coat, and a pair of pants. Why are you dressing like a man? This is not Why a man's jacket like and a man? pants. Shame on you for attacking in the me. Shame department? on you for attacking me. All right, all right, over here. This is for Ross. You got a real nasty attitude towards women. And that's why you ain't you know got none. Let me, let me you don't you. know what they want. You don't know nothing about you women. Something. You need to talk to one from the heart. Right. And talk and talk to him. You know, stop if you're gonna to sugarcoat him, it and no, beat around the bush, how can we have a stop discussion? Stop trying to figure him out because you can't figure him out. And you with a dress, how do, how do you expect women to listen to you? Let me respond to this. Let me respond. She started with me. Let me respond. Let me about Playboy this and Playboy that. All y'all want is some sex. Y'all don't want no women. Y'all want sex. Let me, let me respond. You. I'm sorry. Not I'm getting the commercial cue. We have to take a break. We'll come back and I will let you okay. respond when we come back. Very little time left. Ross, you wanted to respond quickly. Do not make the mistake of thinking that I enjoy 
having to behave this way. It's simply women have taught me that this is what they respond to. I used to be nice. I used to be sweet. I used to be sensitive. I used to listen. I dated my left hand when I did that. And now, and now, now you know, quickly. And, and I used to be more feminist than most feminists. Now, I consider myself a recovering feminist now because now I see, <laughs> now I see how women react. Anytime a man stands up for himself, this is what you do. It's disgusting. Finally, men have oppressed women for too long and it has got to stop and that's what I'm here to say. Why do women run the publishing business? Women don't run. Women happen. run. Wait a minute. Women run the publishing business. Why have I been banned from every bookstore and have to publish it myself? Women run the publishing because business. Because you've written a horrible book. That's why.